Having trouble with Kerbal Space Program? I'm going to help you out today in mistakes newbies make. Adding maneuver nodes is not that difficult once you know what you're doing. Let's say we want to encounter the Mun. Where is that Mun? There it is. But remember, we want to increase our orbit by pulling the prograde, right? And we're not going to try to encounter the Mun by aiming at where the Mun is. We have to aim at where the Mun is going to be. So I'm aiming about here. Because I'm here, my orbit, because it's a perfect circle, is going to increase that way on the opposite side of where I am burning. Let's pull that. I did a bit too much, but that's okay. I got the encounter. Now that I have the encounter, let's double click the MUN. And you can see this is where my projected orbit is. I don't really want to come in that way though. I want to come in this way. So I'm going to change my orbit. You know, it's kind of hard to pull those little levers from over here. So instead, what you can do is you can click this little arrow, next maneuver. Click graphical maneuver editor, these next to the hamburger menu here. And you have these. I want to go on the other side. So I'm going to pull it that way in there, flipped around. Okay, so I'm at 400,000. Let's say I want to go to 100,000. You can click the PE so this always stays up. That's the periaps, your lowest point in your orbit. So I, could, I slowed down so that raised the PE, or I can speed up. Now you see it's, I'm pulling it and it's doing too much. So instead of Pulling it, I'm going to use my scroll wheel. Now I can be more accurate. So I'm scrolling down here, away from the MUN here. Okay, so we're about 100,000 there. Let's say we want to do this maneuver. We would have to point to the maneuver itself on your nav ball. I have my RCS pointing us there. I use SAS to keep us there. So the nav ball says we're here. And you see right here it says burn time in, or burn time, one minute, 44 seconds. That's how long of a burn at full thrust I will need to do. Now, if we could, it would be the most efficient to use all of the velocity that we need, which is 837.9 meters per second, right at the maneuver node. But we can't do that. Instead, we have to burn for one minute and 44 seconds. So we have to do half of our burn before and half of our burn after the maneuver node. To help us out with that, there's a setting that may or may not be disabled for you. We go into the settings and it is a extended burn indicator. Make sure that's enabled. Let's accept that. And now down here, it will likely be at 100% for you. Now we start the burn at 16 minutes and 40 seconds. Now remember I said that we need to do the burn 50% before, 50% after. So we're gonna make this 50%. That changes the burn start time. So you don't have to divide by two on your start. Rendezvousing and docking is very difficult until it's very easy. And the best way to learn how to do it is just by doing it. So let's say you have a space station here that you wanna send a rocket to and dock to one of these docking ports. Luckily, I have already built a space station and the rocket for an example here. Let's go to the launch pad. And here's our rocket. I'm gonna hit M to go to the map and then find my target, which is right here. I'm going to set as target. Then I'll see that the apoapse is 185, the periapse is 184. So there's an easy way to rendezvous with this space station. And that is just by going under here in a circular orbit. And then eventually we'll catch up to the space station because we're lower orbit than space station. So we are going faster than the space station. Think about running around a track and how the inside track just has less distance to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send it to about 100,000 and then circularize there. Now to make our lives easier, we're going to wait for a launch window. So I'm going to wait for the space station to be above 
the airfield that I'm at. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. It can be pretty close, or even further ahead, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and launch this rocket. Okay, 104.98, not perfect, but that's okay. So as you can see, we are behind this space station here and we're going to catch up to it eventually. So I'm just going to add a maneuver anywhere on this orbit and then raise my Apple apps to be the same as the or my target orbit. I'm gonna right click one of these to keep it up. And then I can just kind of maneuver this around until I get a separation that's really tiny. Oh, 0.5 is about as good I'm as I'm gonna get. Let's point to that, go to prograde here. All right, close enough, I bet. We'll have a separation of 0.7, that's pretty good. Now that I have a separation of under one km, all I have to do is go to my maneuver node and hit this approach info for space station. This will be your space station. And you notice it says 11 minutes till we reach that intersect. But what we want to do is make sure that this time to reach intersect stays above 30 seconds. In order to do that, we have to lower our target speed. We'll point retrograde to the target. In order for you to understand how to get towards the target, you have to understand what this nav ball is telling you. This is the anti-target. And this, remember, is retrograde. And if we wanted to slow down exactly, if we were approaching the target head on, both of these would be aligned. So our goal is to get them aligned. To do that, you, you've you heard the phrase push to start. Well, it's you're pushing to slow down. So in order for me to slow down, I would need to push this yellow into the pink. So I would go about right here and start burning. But again, I'm too far away from my time to reach. So I'm going to wait until it's about one minute. So we're at 50 seconds here. They start pulling away because our orbits don't match. So I'm going to push right here, this into the pink right here. Close down my orbit. See how this is going up? And I'm going to wait until it gets to a minute. Still kind of moving around. There we are. We just get to play this game for a while until our target velocity gets about under 5 meters per second. Here's 30 seconds again. That's full throttle. Moves around. And now we're at a minute. Our separation is now projected to be zero. 30 seconds again. It's not going to take much here. So I'm not going to full throttle. I'm just going to ease it in. That. So we're at uh, two meters per second. We should be able to see it. There it is. So I need to kill my velocity here. So I'm going to point just like I did before, anti-target and um, retrograde here and then kill my velocity. Now what I want to do is I want to line up this node or I want to make these ships parallel basically right next to each other so I can when I get about right there, 
point my nose at it. Let me show you. But first, what I want to do is deploy this and turn the light on. But we need to push this rocket that way. Three puffs. Now we will need to do three puffs the other way. Alright. Let's kill that velocity. Three puffs. One, two, three. Okay, now we need to just towards it. So I can point at the target here, aim our camera so we can see better. Okay, if I just stay on the target, slowly start drifting towards it. Oh! There we go. Docked. It's time for another quick tip. Docking between two ports was pretty difficult in the last example. An easier way to do that is to switch to your space station and find the docking port that you want to dock to. And then click it and click control from here. Then you can click on your rocket's docking port, set it as target, and tell SAS to point at the target. Go back to the ship that you were just flying and then set as target the docking port and you'll notice how they kind of dance and tango in unison and point at each other. All you have to do is gently coast towards the docking port and they will eventually line up. Hey you made it this far into the video so why don't you subscribe now and then head on over to twitch.tv slash nanaki underscore tv and give me a follow there. I play KSP, I play Civ 6, EU4, Hearthstone, chess, all sorts of games. So give me a follow over there, and I will be continuing my Mistakes and Weeks Make series for all of these games. You have a docking port here, you have a docking port here, and when you dock in between them, we call that a paradox. Jumps are great.